So here we have a right angle triangle, A, B, D, and we're told various lengths. This is one, this is two, this is four. There's angle P. This large angle here is Q. And we're asked to show the exact value of cos Q minus P is 19 root 17 over 85. So first off, let's have a look at cos Q minus P. This is something that one of our formula tells us we can expand. It's got a pattern cos cos sine sine and the negative changes to a positive. This is something you should learn, but it's also given to you on your formula sheet. There's part of the formulas that you're given on your formula sheet during the exam. And it's the second one where we've got a cosine of A minus B because A cos B plus the opposite sine there plus sine A sine B. So let's do this expansion. So cos Q, cos P, plus sine Q, sine P. So we've got various cosines and sines of the angles Q and P to look at. So let's extract the right angle triangles that are relevant. Let's take the very large one first, where that's Q. This side 1 plus 2, this side being 4. You can see that's a 3, 4, 5 triangle. 3 squared plus 4 squared is 5 squared. There's another smaller right angle triangle where that angle's P. This is side 1, this is side 4. And the hypotenuse, 1 squared plus 4 squared, that's 17 square rooted by Pythagoras' theorem. So we're now ready to find out sines and cosines of P and Q and replace them in this expression. So let's proceed with that. Cosine of Q, it's adjacent over hypotenuse, 4 over 5. The cosine of P, adjacent over hypotenuse, 4 over root 17, plus sine of Q, opposite over hypotenuse, that's 3 fifths, sine of P, opposite over hypotenuse, that's 1 over root 17. Now, Multiplying fractions, multiply the top two, the bottom two, we'll get 16 over 5 root 17. We'll get 3 times 1, that's 3 over 5 root 17. And since these two fractions have the same denominator, we can just add them, just like we would, we would add, for instance, 2 sevenths and 3 sevenths and say, what have we got? We've got 5 of them, 5 sevenths. So 16 plus 3 over 5 root 17. So that's 19 over 5 root 17. Now if we look at what we're trying to get, the root 17 is on the top, not the bottom of the fraction. So we're going to have to rationalise this. And the method we use to do that is to multiply the bottom by root 17 and the top by root 17. In effect, we're multiplying that fraction by root 17 over root 17, which is basically 1. And it doesn't alter the value of a fraction if you multiply it by 1. So we've got 19 root 17, 19 times root 17 over 5 times root 17 times root 17 is 17. And finally then, multiplying the two numbers in the denominator, 5 times 17 does indeed give us 85. And that's the exact expression that we were asked to produce.